There is a young planetary system out there that is just 23 million years old, located just 63 light years away from us. This system has two imaged exoplanets and a multi-component disk of debris, which are the leftovers of planet formation. It is constantly changing and evolving, creating structures and phenomena that we have never seen before. This is the Beta Pictoris system, one of the most fascinating and intriguing systems in the universe. And it has just revealed a new secret thanks to the most powerful and complex space telescope ever built, the James Webb Space Telescope. One of its targets is this amazing system, which it has observed with two of its instruments. And what it has discovered is a new mysterious structure in the system, a sharply inclined branch of dust, shaped like a cat's tail, that extends from the southwest portion of the secondary debris disk. This is a remarkable discovery, as it reveals the complexity and dynamism of the Beta Pictoris system, and it may help us understand how planets form and evolve in different environments. In this video, we will learn more about this discovery, how it was made, and what it means for our understanding of planetary systems. We will also discuss some of the possible scenarios that could explain the origin and evolution of the cat's tail, and how it relates to the secondary disk and the exoplanets. This is a video you don't want to miss, as it will show you the diversity and beauty of the universe. So, stay tuned, and let's get started. To investigate the Beta Pictoris system, Webb used two of its instruments, NearCam and MIRI. And by combining the data from both instruments, Webb was able to detect the cat's tail, which is otherwise invisible to other telescopes. The cat's tail is a thin and elongated structure of dust, about 10 billion kilometers long, or about 67 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. It is oriented at a steep angle of about 60 degrees with respect to the main disk, which lies in the same plane as the two exoplanets. It is also hotter and darker than the main disk, indicating that it is made of different materials. Here is an image of the cat's tail and the secondary disk, taken by Webb. As you can see, the cat's tail is a very distinctive feature, and it stands out from the rest of the system. But how did it form, and what does it tell us about the Beta Pictoris system? Let's find out in the next section. The cat's tail is a very intriguing feature, and it raises many questions about how it formed, and what it means for the Beta Pictoris system. One possibility is that it is the result of a dust production event, like a collision, that occurred a mere 100 years ago. This could have happened between two asteroids, or between an asteroid and a comet, or between a comet and one of the exoplanets. The impact would have ejected a large amount of dust, which then spread out along the orbit of the secondary disk, forming the cat's tail. Another possibility is that the cat's tail is a long-lived feature that has been there for millions of years. This could be the case if the secondary disk is actually a ring of dust rather than a disk, and the cat's tail is the inner edge of the ring, seen in projection. The ring could have been formed by the gravitational influence of the exoplanets, which could have perturbed the orbits of the dust particles, creating gaps and warps in the main disk. It could also be fed by a steady stream of dust from the main disk, or from other sources, such as comets or asteroids. These are some of the scenarios that the astronomers have suggested, but they are not the only ones. More observations and simulations are needed to test these hypotheses and to understand the dynamics and history of the Beta Pictoris system. But whatever the origin and evolution of the cat's tail, it is clear that it is a unique and fascinating structure that reveals the complexity and diversity of planetary systems. And it also has important implications for our knowledge of planetary systems, as we will see in the next section. The discovery of the cat's tail is a significant achievement for Webb and for the field of astronomy. It shows that the Beta Pictoris system is a complex and dynamic system, where planets, dust, and gas interact in various ways, creating structures and phenomena that we have never seen before. It also shows that Webb is a powerful tool for exploring the diversity and evolution of planetary systems, and for finding clues about how our own solar system formed and changed over time. This system is not the only one of its kind. There are many other young and nearby planetary systems that Webb can observe, 
and that may have similar or different features. Some of these systems are already known, such as AU Microscopy, Fomalhaut, and HR 8799, and some of them are yet to be discovered. By comparing and contrasting these systems, we can learn more about the processes and factors that shape the formation and development of planets and their environments. However, studying these systems is not easy. They are often faint, obscured, or distorted by the interstellar medium, the dust and gas between the stars. They are also subject to change, as new events and interactions may occur at any time. Therefore, we need to observe them frequently and with different instruments to capture their variability and diversity. Webb is not the only telescope that can do this. There are other telescopes, both in space and on the ground, that can complement and enhance Webb's observations, such as ALMA, Hubble, Spitzer, and the upcoming ELT and JWST. Together, these telescopes can provide a comprehensive and detailed picture of the Beta Pictoris system and other planetary systems, and help us answer some of the most fundamental questions about our place in the universe. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you have learned something new and interesting. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, please feel free to leave them below. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.